Okay, uh, in this video what we're going to go over today is uh, some 3D trigonometry. Uh, these problems can be a little tricky, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two problems. I'm going to do one with a cuboid and one with uh, a pyramid. These are paper one problems, six points each. Uh, a room is in the shape of a cuboid. Its floor measures 7.2 meters by 9.6 meters and its height is 3.5 meters. Okay, uh, calculate the length of AC. So they want us to calculate AC here. So let's see if I can you know, make that. Okay, so they want us to calculate this. Now, I know this doesn't look like a right angle, but it is because it's a cuboid. So that's kind of the trick part there that you know that that's a right angle. Um, so you can just use Pythagoras. And what we'll do is we'll just do, that would be the hypotenuse. So it would be 7.2 squared plus 9.6 squared, you know, equals AC squared. Okay? And so we will just break out a calculator and go, let's see here, 7 point, oops, point 0.2 um, squared plus 9.6 squared. Uh, equals oh 144 that's good so 144 and then we'll just take the square root of that so the square root of 144 is obviously um, 12 okay good so that's nice and easy so this would equal 144 let's see here 144 and it's AC squared then you just take the square root of it you know I like to show all my work here I mean if you didn't you would be fine so it'd be 12 meters so this part right here is 12 meters. <clears throat> Alright, so now it says calculate the length of a G. Okay, we can do that, no problem. Um, a G, now A G is going to be, let's see, ooh, okay, so it goes across the cuboid. So it goes like this. Okay, so that's kind of a weird one. I mean, you kind of have to imagine the middle of like a Kleenex box or something like that. Um, and the right angle is going to be right there. So again, this is Pythagoras. Now this side, if it's 3.5 right here, it's going to be 3.5 meters right here. So we have two sides, so we can, we can calculate the hypotenuse again. So it's going to be 3.5 uh, squared plus uh, 12 squared equals AG squared. Okay, um, now I've done this problem before, so it's 156.25 equals AG squared, and then if you take the square root of that, you get 12.5 uh, meters equals AG. Okay, so just, you know, two examples here where we have to use Pythagoras. Now, um, the only kind of tricky part is just seeing what, what, you know, what side they're asking for, I guess. Okay, so now they say calculate the angle that AG makes with the floor. So AG, and here's the floor. So they're talking about this angle right here. Now, this is a right triangle, so we can use Sokotoa. Um, you know, sine Sokotoa. Sine opposite over hypotenuse. Um, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent opposite over adjacent. So you can use either one of them. We know... Uh, we know all three sides. So I'm just going to use, I like to use sine. I don't know why. Um, so I'm just going to do opposite over a, a hypotenuse. So this, you know, the inverse sine is going to be 3.5 over 12.5. Okay, so let's break out the calculator. Make sure your calculator is in degrees for this. And you'll go second inverse sine and 3.5 divided by 12.5. Let's see what we get. 16.26. Okay, so you need to go to three significant figures, so that would be 16.3. So um, our angle there is 16.3 degrees. Okay, so that's the first problem uh, I wanted to do, and now let's move on to the one with the pyramid. Okay, so now we've, we have a pyramid one. It says the right pyramid shown in the diagram has a square base with sides the length of uh, 40 centimeters. Okay. And the height of the pyramid is also 40. Okay, no problem. Um, so find the length of OB. Okay, so where's OB? Oh, OB is right here. Okay, so uh, the best way to do this, 
um, is you're going to have to, you, you see this right triangle right here, like that's the, that's the tricky part about these is you got to kind of look, it's the one that goes like this, okay, and so we're, we're finding OB right here. Okay, so the problem is we know this, 40, but we don't know what this is or what that is, and we're trying to find that. So, um, But we do know that this is 40 and this is 40 because it's a square, so we can actually find this hypotenuse. This is a right angle here because it's a square. I know it doesn't look like one, but it is. Um, so we can just use Pythagoras, and then we're just going to have to divide that in half um, because diagonals cut each other in half in a square. So... Not the math is pretty straightforward, but you you know you have to kind of I don't know the logic that goes behind it. You have a, to make a couple steps. So anyway, I would just do 40 squared plus 40 squared, um, you know, equals c squared, and you know so that would be um, let's see, 40 squared is 1600 plus 1600, so that's 3200 equals c squared, and then we'll just take the square root of 3,200 uh, equals c. So let's get out the calculator, turn it on, second, uh, square root, square root 3,200, and we get 56.56. Now that's the whole thing, um, but we need to divide that by 2. So we're going to get 28.3. Okay, so this, so okay, so this is um, what 56.6. Uh, okay, and then we just, you know, we just did 56.6 divided by two, which is 28.3. So you know, this is 28.3 centimeters right there. Now we can just use Pythagoras again. Um, to find it. So we do 40 squared plus 28.3 squared equals, you know, C squared or OB squared, whatever. Uh, now, that one I cannot do in my head. So <laughs> let's clear it. We'll go 40 squared um, plus 28.3 squared is 2408.89, and then we'll take the square root of the answer there, and we get um, basically, okay, if we round that, that's going to be 49. So, you know, C is going to equal 49 centimeters. All right, so that, let's see, so we found out that that's 49 centimeters. Okay, so now what do they want us to do? Find the angle of OP, OBP, okay. That'd be funny if it was OPP. No, you couldn't do that. Okay, so <laughs> OBP. So that is OBP. That's right there. See, so notice that this is similar to the previous problem. It's just a different shape, but we're dealing with right triangles in this. Um, so again, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do sine personally because um, I like sine. So I'll just do you know the inverse sine of you know 40 over 49. And let's see what we get. So we, you know, a lot of this is calculator work when you get to trig. So you go to second um, sine, and then 40 divided by 49. And you could use cosine or tangent. And the, you know, the ratio would change, but it's still the same thing. So that's 54.7 degrees. So we found that. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. 54.7 degrees. So like, if you look at the point distribution of this, this one was worth four points. And this one was worth two points. So anyway, I mean, like I said, I don't know, pretty straightforward, but they can be a little little tricky. And, and these were actually, um, there are, I've seen some more difficult ones where, you know, you might have to find like the area of this face or something like that. Um, but overall, you know, the first part of these problems are always pretty much the same. So anyway, I hope this helped you out and take it easy.